Mishnah, the Maral, the Mishnah says, the one who studies Torah the Shema, he's Ochle Dvar Parve, he merits many things. Rameir had said, see, it explains that only if you do it the Shema, but if you don't, meaning if you want to acquire it, what, what is the Dvar Parve? It doesn't mean what's enumerated afterwards. Shem reveals you the secrets of Torah and something else and many other things. It says, one acquires the malas Torah, the quality, the elevations of Torah, only if you study the Shema. Because if a person appreciates and esteems the Torah for what it truly is, that it's what its value is, then he's affected and he's elevated through the Torah. You're only elevated through the Torah only if you appreciate its innate value. But if you do it for your own, with your own understanding, intellectualism, or for your for monetary gain, or for covet, or whatever it is, then you're not appreciating its value. Then it doesn't elevate the person. You're only elevated through it only if you appreciate what its value is. So tomorrow, tomorrow. Ain't no other woman will lose. No, 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 no. I understand that. It's like you enjoy one, one, one subject matter more than one. You know. But it has nothing, it just has to do with your, your personality. It has nothing to do with this. You're doing it for the sake of, of, the, of the mitzvah. Or for the sake of knowledge. No, you do appreciate it. You know, you eat more, it's bitter. You eat more, it's bitter. Like, okay, you eat something sweet, it's sweet reality of what it is. We're in the Kuftari Bay second column, second paragraph. It doesn't mean what the Mishnah follows and enumerates. He's worthy of many good things. He's worthy of everything. In addition to all the other that good that you have, it goes beyond that. It's the most exalted level of status. You you have the ability, you have clarity. With spirituality. First, we're not talking about spirituality. No, 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 we're not holding it. It's pre chosen. Pre chosen. Chosen is an addition. No, no, we're talking about that. Vomash kololom kedai hulo. The whole world was, was is, is is worthwhile just for this one person who studies Lishma. Pirsh kol olam who roi lemisha osig b'torah Lishma. Zebne ki atorah he al olam ativi. Why? Because the Torah transcends this world, right? The physical world. V'dovas e biyarn upon harbi eich atorah he al olam. Maybe discuss the whole reason why Talmud Bavli. Aramaic, rather than, because Aramaic is something is, is a language which is, which is not doesn't have the value of regularizing languages. So it, it represents something which is out of the realm of existence. Says that's the reason. spiritual, it is more spiritual, even though it's not Losh Kodesh. Well, let's try. When we speak about creation, it's base. But when we speak about the Torah given to Kalosha, which is Aserah Sadiq, how does it start with the Aleph? Anokhe Hashem Elokecho, Shem Anokhe Hashem Elokecho, Odiya Ki Malas HaTorah Hikodemus. I mean, in terms of the physical world, 
the physical world is base. But something precedes the base, the physical world. What's that? That's Aleph. That's the spirituality. So therefore, the Kolom Kedayuno, he studied Torah Lishma, that, that, that supersedes all, all existence. Rama Zedovet B'Mizma Hashemayim Sarfim called Keel. It says, Heaven speak God's glory. Jezeo HaMizma Yesh Bozayim Psukim. There's seven Psukim in that Mizma. Lam Tzech Mizedovet Hashem Sarfim called Keel. Vem Sheva Psukim Ad Torah Hashem Tmimo. Yeah, there's the seven verses until you come to Torah Hashem Tmimo. Hu Hashemidi, the eighth puzzle. You know, and say, Lam Tzech Mizedovet, you think about this. When you come to the eighth puzzle, it's Right, seven days of creation. Seven represents that's the natural order. Seven. Batori ala olam. Right. What is beyond supernatural is eight. That's Torah. Kachsider perek posuk Torah Hashem Tmiwa shu v'dabar ben Atorah the posuk shmini. If a dover melech would he place Torah Hashem Tmiwa? Shemaim is having called kale. After the seven psukim, then he speaks about Torah. But said Tarm ki mizma tamni yaapi. Yesh bo shmona psukim. They should call him his morim. You said al Torah she al olam hazeh. Shu nichla be misprezayin. The olam hazeh is 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 denoted through seven. Shem zayin may bracious. But Torah al olam. Torah trends is beyond the physicality of the world. Kach roilo misba shmona. Advar me'il itzbar b'sefer tiferes b'shar makom. He says this many times. Right? It's very, very simple. What is the value of existence? Right? It's not. It's not the rise of spirituality. So as vast as the world is, if its value is only Torah, so so that means it can't be more important than Torah. Correct. So therefore, Torah supersedes existence. 